Students who attend Tulsa Public Schools are having their say ahead of what could be a crucial vote on the future of the state's largest public school district. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rick Marinon. New at 9, Fox 23's John Acebus is live, where a rally just wrapped up, and he spoke with students who pleaded for the State Board of Education to accredit TPS and allow them to learn worry-free. Rick, they did that right here at this podium where they gave their speeches to students, parents, and board members. They also invited Oklahoma State Department of Education board members who will be voting on the future of accreditation to sit right here in these seats. But today, these seats remained empty. Stepping to the microphone are students taking a stand for Tulsa Public Schools and their teachers. By saying that they are wasting tax dollars, it dismisses the work and effort they put in to support us every single day. Students did not hold back Saturday. Is this what the future of we, Oklahoma's youth, and our past should be suggested to and subjected to? Students just want to go to school, their school. And yet here we are today. I spoke with one of the organizers of Protect Tulsa, Anna Barras. She's a seventh grade teacher at Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences, and she helped bring this event together. She says what students are cheering for tonight are their voices. There's so much uncertainty and it all comes from nobody has talked to them. Nobody has asked them what they need. Nobody has asked our students what they think about all of this. Um, and so they're freaking out. Our educators deserve better. Students like me deserve better. So let us move forward with the belief that the investments we make today will help better the future generations of students. Thank you. Students were hoping to hear from Oklahoma State Department of Education board members who will be voting this week to decide the future of TPS accreditation and possibly the future of TPS Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist. But their chairs were empty and none came. Students still defended their education. More than anybody, I agree with Ryan Walters that Chinese communist propaganda has no place in my school. However, after taking Chinese at Booker T. Washington for two years, I can confidently state that this program is nothing but a language class. And one of many classes students want to attend without worrying about losing its accreditation. I believe that in the future, TESA will help me find out what interests me and what I think would be a great career for me. But all these things may not happen if TPS loses its accreditation. Many students worrying that they may have to leave their schools, asking some of their teachers, are you going to be the teacher for me for the rest of this year? Now, we will not know State Superintendent Ryan Walters' full recommendation until it's put on the agenda next week. Covering news that matters, John Asibas, Fox 23 News.